gonna get right into it. Um, I have it's a tempered glass of my um cell phone. Uh, I'm gonna use it as my disc or my tray. So um, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Liquid Foundation. It has SPF 17, and I'm a G3 or a Golden Beige. So I'm not really this bare skin. It's just that my skin, I'm acidic. So, you know, my color changes, the foundation changes soon as it sets on my skin and it's weird. And sometimes when I think uh, my color is right, a few minutes after my face gets so dark compared to the rest of my body and that's just not right. This will be my second time using this foundation and I've noticed that it gets pretty difficult to blend as it dries and I take a while blending so... I'm gonna try mixing it with my CC cream. This is a Korean brand. It's a 3W Clinic. Uh, I think CC stands for color correcting, correction. So I'm gonna mix that with my, Ugh. I don't have anything to blend the foundation and the cream, right? I'm thinking gonna use the tip of um, another liner so what I usually do is I just make dots on um, my face it can be anywhere you want my hair is so dry it's dead because I've been killing it. I've been um, into this granny hair craze and um, it gets nice at first and then a few weeks after it, the color starts washing out and hair starts drying out. Not nice, but you know, the things we do, girly things, girly pleasures. I think I have enough. Let's not forget our neck. I and mean, that's one of my pet peeves. That's why when I buy a foundation, I take forever because I want to make sure that once everything sets in, my face is the same color as the rest of my body. Okay, I think I've. And we're good! <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Stupid. Okay. I guess we're good. And then I use. This brush, it's one of the first few nice brushes I got. It's a gift from my good friend Archie. It's um, Premier Techniques, it's a buffing brush. So now we just start blending. Blending. Blend, blend, blend. Huh, looks good. And let's not forget the ears. Mm. Blending. Blending is the best thing ever. Let's also not forget the back of the neck. Sorry, the ear. Back of the neck. Back of the ear. Blends. Same color as my chest. Amazing. <laughs> I'm so happy that I chose the right color. Because um, before I got this um, True Match, I got another True Match alone with the moisturizing thing. It looks like a medicine bottle. So I got that. And the lady that sold the product was like, hey, this is the best color for you. It looks exactly like your blah, blah, blah. And I trusted her, of course. She works for L'Oreal. Why shouldn't I trust her? Um, and then, as soon as I got home, I tried it, and I was like, oh, great. Face looks brown, neck looks yellow. Not right. I take a while to do the eyebrows, because they're my favorite. Right? So, um, just a quick rule you should remember when doing eyebrows. You, it should be a shade lighter or darker than your hair. In this case, since my gray... It's fading. I'm going to stick to um, a little bit of a brown shade. It's from BYS. It's a brow gel and it's nice. So far it's been good to me. 
So first you brush your hair with your spoolie and then we get some of the product. What else do you do? Can I just say how difficult it is to <laughs> put makeup on without looking at an actual mirror and just looking at my eyebrows through the, the screen of the camera. By the way, I'm not using any professional camera or camcorder or video recorder. I'm just using my iPhone. So if you don't like the quality, then I'm sorry. This is doing this just for fun. And if it gets serious, maybe I'll think about getting a video camera. Yes, that's good. The other one. Oops. <laughs> Eyebrows are not twins. They're like sisters, said Michelle Fan. I think we all watched Michelle Fan for a time. At least I started with Michelle Fan. And then there's Pixie Woo. There's Chloe Morello. There's Shannon. There's also Nicole Guerrero and Jacqueline Hill. Jacqueline Hill is bubbly. So, blend, blend, blend. Blend. I think I've been working on my eyebrows for a good three minutes now. <laughs> if I were doing my eyebrows during a zombie apocalypse, I would have become a zombie ASAP. Because I wouldn't leave my eyebrows looking all stupid. I'm not saying I have perfect eyebrows. I know I don't, but I try. Okay, I'll leave it. I've spent too much time on eyebrows. Um, and then we move on to blush. This is a gift from a friend. It's a Stella convertible color. Ugh, this is funny. There you go. So it's in um, hibiscus. It's a dual lip and cheek cream. Okay. What's up? It's uh. That's jam. Am I bleeding? I'm not. Okay. <laughs> so, blend. I'm her lover. Mhm. Mm so you better watch it, you boys. You. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I look like I was murdered, or slapped. So about cheeks, right, um, you might find it weird that I run it over my nose. I do because I like it. I like it that way. It looks more natural. It looks like I was sunburned. Oh, also, um, if you want to make sure that there's, um, you have the, just the right num- <laughs> The right amount of product on your face, you can use a damp beauty blender. And then just go over it. What's nice about the beauty blender is it makes sure that you have just the right amount of product on your face. It removes the extra. Okay, and then, I don't always do this, but because again, my friend is here and we will be taking a lot of selfies. I am going to use... Uh, I'm going to contour a little just around the nose. So first we start with the highlighter. So just do that. Just a little bit. And then the dark color. 
around the knees. So just remember that when you contour, you are trying to hide something. So in this case, I'm trying to make my nose bridge look thinner. That's what we all want. Right? Things makeup can do. Okay. So, and then of course we blend. Ooh, and if you're not satisfied with the brushes or the sponges, then just go ahead and do it with your fingers. buffing brush I use for the foundation. Uh, my powder is L'Oreal Matte Magic BB. It's so cute. See, and then there's a mirror in the sponge. I don't always use a sponge. I feel like it packs on too much and then I look too du overly done. So I stick to the brush. Eyelash curler. This one? Your eyelash in. Or this one? This one? I'd go with this. This one? This? Yeah. Look, it just opens your eyes. It does. Okay. Other eyelashes. I love putting makeup on other people, but I just can't do with their eyelashes. It scares me. Curl Volume Express from Maybelline. So, you know, wiggle. My face is so awkward. Okay, you can instantly see that this eye looks better than the other one. Is it? Oh, oh, just a tip. Um, when that happens, you leave it, and when it dries, that's when you scrape it off. Otherwise. You're gonna have a messy eye. And then I go down. Oh, this is it. So sometimes I just leave it like that, or um, I could also use my Tony Moly lip tint. Right, so just a little bit of color. Hmm. I could also use uh, Revlon and uh, the color 500 mob color burst right I like that um it the shape is like that it's perfect for your lips it just glides on see see what I mean yeah and we're good